Hello everyone. Welcome to CNC Programming Club. In today's session, we will be discussing about how to use face milling with boundaries in annex manufacturing. For this exercise, we have selected this component and we are going to remove extra material from the top surfaces. For this exercise, we have modeled blank. Here you can see the blank. The thickness of the blank is 2 mm. Let's start manufacturing. So click on application, then manufacturing, click on machine tool view and let's start with the first step which is create tool. Click on create tool. I will be using the library to retrieve the tool. So click on retrieve tools from library, double click on milling and specify the diameter. I will be using 12 mm diameter tool. So just write it there and click OK. Just select the first option and click cancel. So here you can see the tool and if you want to add it anything in the tool then just uh, change the parameter which you wanted to change then click OK. Step 1 is over. Let's go to step 2 and for that you have to click on geometric view. Here we will be defining MCS mill and the workpiece and the blank. As you can see on the screen that the MCS lies at the bottom surface. So we wanted to have the MCS on the top surface. So we just need the thickness of the workpiece. Let's measure the thickness. For that click on analysis and measure distance. Select the top surface and the bottom surface. So here is a thickness of 32 millimeter. So just double click on MCS and write the coordinate of Z as 32. So the MCS will shift up from bottom surface to the top surface. Click OK. Now let's define the workpiece. Double click on workpiece. Click on specify part and select the part. Now select the blank. Select the first and here is the second and click OK. Click OK to confirm it. Now as you can see our MCS has been specified as well as our workpiece has been specified. The bottom one is the workpiece and the lighter shade is of the blank. Now after this we don't need to display the blank so I am just hiding it. So go to this part navigator, right click on the, the part and click on hide. Then after go to aggression navigator and let's start with the step number three. So click on create operation, click on face milling with boundary option. Then in program we will be selecting NC program. In tool we will be selecting 12 mm end mill diameter. In geometry it is work piece. we will be selecting that. And in method we will select mill finish as the option and click OK. The first thing that we have to do in here is specify the face boundary. So click on that. Here if you open this you will be having few options like you can select uh, the face or the curves or the series of points. So here I will be having face directly so I will be selecting that option only. Click on the face. Click on this add new set to select the another face and select it and confirm it. For this case, uh, the most preferable cut pattern would be zigzag. So select that. If you wanted to reduce the percentage flat diameter, just to set it to 50 percentage would be a better choice. Then we know that the thickness of the blank is 2 millimeter. So just type it here. Here I am defining depth of cut as 2 millimeter. So all the material will be removed in single cut only. Since 2 mm is a blank thickness and it will be removed with 2 mm depth of cut. So the cut level is 1. Just generate the toolpath. So here is the toolpath. Let me visualize the toolpath. So click on 3D dynamic and run the simulation. Here as you can see that cutting is being done in this manner along the x-axis. 
if I wanted to change that uh, cutting directions then to go to cutting parameters and select the angle here is angle is being measured from the x direction so the angle is being measured like this so if I just uh, write a 0 then it will again cut in this manner only so if I write 180 it will be cutting in the same manner so I will I can write either 90 or else I can write 270 here I am writing 270 and click OK generate the toolpath and verify the toolpath if I just write 90 degree in that case then the cutting would start from here and it would end on this side that is why I write 270 degree in that click OK to confirm it now here as you can observe in this case when we see the tool path the tool is little bit moving outward from the area to be cut so in order to skip that part just go to cutting parameter and reduce the tool overhang from 100 percentage to 50 percentage of the tool diameter so I am just changing this parameter and click OK and just generate the tool path so as you can see that now the tool will turn back from this edge okay because we have changed the overhang reduce it from 100 to 50 percentage of the tool and let's uh, let's verify the tool path this would reduce the extra movement of the tool now suppose that we wanted to skip some of the part for the final cut so if I just write 1 mm in this case then 1 mm stroke would be remained for the other operations so just generate the tool path and then after verify the tool path and run the simulations again so as you can see that from the 2 mm thickness of the blank 1 mm is getting removed and 1 mm will be here for the next cut so this has to be selected as and when we wanted to remove that material in the next cut now since we are not uh, putting anything for the final we will be just setting it zero again and just generate the tool path now let's uh, define the feeds and speed so click on this I'm just defining 120 meter per minute as the VC cutting velocity and uh, feed red per tooth would be 0 0.09 and just click on this calculate button so the feed rate and spindle speed both will be calculated click OK to confirm it and just press OK now as you can see most of the thing has been set now just to go to machine tool view click on generic machine right click it and click on edit click on retrieve machine tool from the library double click on mill and select 3 axis cinematic click ok just close this dialog box click ok and just zoom out here you can see the workpiece as well as the entire machine now in order to run the simulations just click on the simulate machine click on the show 3d material removal so that you can see the material which is being removed and here you can observe speed feed rate and the time by which the machining will be finished and just play the simulation so here as you can see that the machining has been done and it almost took uh, 3 minute and 7 second 
and here is the tool number so that's it related to the face mill using boundaries if you guys are having any questions or doubts regarding this face mill using boundaries kindly put that on uh, comment section thank you